Facility management is a profession that encompasses multiple disciplines to ensure the functionality, comfort, safety and efficiency of the environment by integrating people, place, process and technology. The World Facility Management Day is celebrated annually to recognize and celebrate the vital work that workplace and facilities managers and the wider industry contribute to business worldwide. The theme for this year is leading a sustainable future. For the purpose of the commemoration, an event was organized by the Nigerian chapter of the International Facility Management Association. IFMA is the world's largest association for facility management professionals supporting members in over 100 countries. In his opening speech, the association's president, Shegun Adebayo, suggested strategies that could be employed in using facility management to improve the environment. Through innovative initiatives, use of technology, specialized trainings, and strategic collaboration that translates to the actualization of a future that is indeed glorious in the built environment. Please. Continue to practice FM, speak FM, think FM, advocate FM, and support FM. The keynote speaker of the event, Babatude Raji Fashola, emphasized on a maintenance culture while describing what an economy built on maintenance looks like. I must commend the choice of the team, which is, quote, leading a sustainable future. Let me attempt to share my thoughts about what a maintenance economy looks like. It is an economy that ensures that all assets that we own and those that we rely on for our day-to-day -day life and functions are operating at optimum and efficient capacity for the longest possible time. While noting that sustainability could be an issue, he noted that he had inspected the Akpagwa Bridge, which had developed problems after an inferno that occurred weeks ago. He also noted that the Buhari administration was taking steps to create a sustainable infrastructure in the country. The limitation, of course, is about sustainability because construction work does not last forever. Just two days ago, I was in Lagos to inspect not only the damaged section of the Eco Bridge at Akogo, which occurred as a result of the proper use and indeed as a result of abuse. The Buhari government started the restoration, the maintenance, and facility management of public infrastructure under the supervision of the Ministry of Works and Housing. A representative of the Lagos state government noted that the Babajide sonwolu led administration was making moves to create sustainable and functional infrastructure in the state. Infrastructure development is the foundation of this administration's themes agenda. The more we spend on infrastructure, the more important it is to plan to maintain it. The Lagos state government, through the Lagos State Infrastructure Asset Management Agency, aims to improve benefits for local facility managers in terms of employment and enterprise development. During the panel session, one of the speakers noted that facility management in Nigeria is not strong and needs to be built. We need to build this profession on the right foundation. Our current foundation is not strong enough. It's not consolidated. And we must understand that we, as players in that profession today, have a critical role to play. So if I look at that, I superimpose it with the responsibilities we have as individuals, responsibilities we have as companies. Legislation was also suggested as a catalyst that could help strengthen facility management in Nigeria. Adebanke Odunui, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.